Okay, Detroit City Council President Brenda Jones, who is challenging Representative Rashida Tlaib, Democrat of Michigan, in the Democratic primary in Michigan's 13th Congressional District, gained on her opponent in a poll released Friday, just days after announcing her run last week, but still trails Tlaib by a significant margin. The poll of 500 registered voters for Michigan pollster and political consultant Ed Sarpolis of Target Insight found Tlaib leading Jones 43 to 34 in a head-to-head -head matchup. This represents a massive gain for Jones after last poll taken in June 2019, which found Tlaib ahead 56 to Jones' 19%. Tlaib saw bigger losses in Detroit, where Jones has more name recognition than in other areas of the district. She did not fare well among male voters, losing 25 percentage points since June among male voters, compared to just 6% with female voters. Tlaib also remained ahead among older voters, a critical demographic with generally higher turnout. Thank God. Tlaib's favorability ratings, however, remain 10 percent percentage points higher than Jones's. So <sighs> Tlaib is getting challenged, and we've known about this for, what, a couple of weeks. Um, I'm, I'm just thinking about what's going on with Markey in Massachusetts, where he's also, it's just, this is why I don't like interacting with a lot of progressives because they get all horny about these presidential elections. And then when they have members of Congress who are at the very least more progressive than the rest of the Democrats, they turn their back on them. Like Markey introduced the Green New Deal with uh, AOC, who everybody loves so damn much. To leave as part of the squad, and they're both getting very, quite frankly, ignored. So when they lose their seats to establishment clowns, and we're going, oh, where are the progressives? How come they keep losing? Because you guys don't pay any attention to them. So that that's just my little soapbox rant. I hope she doesn't lose her seat. We don't really have, like I said, if any members of the squad were to get defeated, I prefer it to be Presley because she is just you know, a, a, would like a, a step away from being a neoliberal. She would likes to work with them, be buddy, buddy. But this sucks. Um, and the only way it's going to get any better is if the supposed progressives start to donate and spread this story around. I mean, they just don't care. Like, it really, it's as if you're, if you're not Sanders or AOC, they throw you to the wayside. God, man. It's just one loss after another for progressives. 2020 is the year of progressive L's.